Hello everyone, my name is Jack from Tazando and today we're going to look at how to wear your gi and hakama properly. So, chakuso, as it's known in Japanese, is how you wear your bogu, your uniform and how you um, present yourself during training and at shiai and examinations and so on. And it's really important to give the best impression in kendo. So, today I'm going to use my dogi and my hakama and we're going to just go through simple ways of tying them so you know that you look perfect for whatever you're doing. So, we're going to start with the doggy, and it's really easy, so you just start and just put it on first. So get it over your shoulders. And once that, you'll notice there are these different himo. So you've got one here, one here, one on the inside, and one here. So first off, we start with the inside. So it always goes right and then left, okay? So take them in each hands and just tie a nice knot. And you want to do this horizontally, not vertically. So just make a nice little bow and then pull it horizontally and then even it out like that so it's all nice and then do the same here on the outside so see how I'm pulling across and I'm not pulling up like this because if you pull up like this and then you twist it round and you keep going and you make a vertical tie it kind of looks a bit weird and the standard is for it to be horizontal so we don't want it vertical we want it horizontal so just you know take it and then pull it across like this you know make your loops however you like to do it just tie a simple bow and then once you've done just even up the sides so it looks nice and neat and you're not sticking out loads and there you go here's your gi it's all nice and you feel nice and comfortable it's not going to come loose or anything like that okay so now we're going to do the hakama so i've got my hakama nicely folded already so you just unfold it out and then hold it like this so you've got it in front of you here and then open it up and then one leg goes in through the right one leg goes in through the left making sure you have that divider still there in between your legs okay so then hold your belt up and some people like have it right here in front of your belly button but really it depends on where you want it to hang so some uh, men in Japan tie it lower some women tie it much higher but people do all sorts of different things so it's whatever's most comfortable for you but the most important thing is the bottom hem uh, you want that to be sort of around about maybe ankle height or a little bit lower so that when you bow it comes up to the feet a bit but let's focus on tying today so yeah so you find your nice little natural place to do it and then using your hands just fold these around and wrap them around you okay and so they're going to go around to the back like this and so you've just passed them around and then you're going to bring them back forwards and you're going to make a V like this or like a cross so the cross comes down over like this. Then fold it up like this so that you've got enough space. And then just push it through so you make not a knot, but you're kind of intertwining them, as it were. And so just a very simple pull like that. Now follow them back up now. Okay? So don't don't go low like follow them back up and around and you'll see here and then you bring them back down again to make a cross okay behind your back so you've got this kind of like crossing motion here now ooh, with them crossing over you can just fold one through and slip it through like this again to pull it nice and tight and then you can make your bow so you make one loop, and then you bring this around, 
fold it in and put it through across. And again, you know, pull these through so that they're kind of the same length and so that it feels nice and even, nice and tight. Okay, now at this point, it's good to just sort of put your hands in, make sure everything is in, like your doggy's nice and in. And you'll, f if you feel up here, often you might get some wrinkles or some bits here. So it's at this point you can kind of sort of pull it out, out down through the belt that you've made with your Orbi. And you can sort of flatten out this back bit so that it feels nice and it looks good. Now this is a bit that they often look at in gradings. So if you've got it bunched up here, when you've got your Hakama up, they kind of, they, uh, it looks a bit bad and a bit sloppy. So if you want to have good chakasol, make sure this is looking nice. So once it all feels pretty good and you feel like, oh yeah, that's, that's nice and flat, go back down and then you want to bring up this bit. So this is the koshi ita, like the back plate. And if you flap it down, you'll notice there's this plastic tack here. So this is the header. Now we want to tuck this into our himo here, and this will keep our hakama in place. So go ahead, tuck in your header, and then make sure your, your plate is nice up against your back, okay? So there, so we've got basically there, we've got it all going. And so now you've got these two himo that you can then bring forwards and you can tie again. So you should bring it down, it down again into a cross, and then pull this nice here, and then you want the knot to be a bit lower than this one, right? And you want to just pull it nice and in, and then once more, just do it again. Nice square knot there, so it's like a reef knot. And so this will be here, and that keeps you nice and solid, doesn't look messy, and then you can just fold and tuck these away so it looks nice. And maybe sometimes people just sort of like tuck them in or it slides down in, but I like to wrap it in again so that it's nice and secure and it's not going to fall out or anything like that. And then just do the same with your other, with your other himo. Just again, sort of pass it in, keeping it nice. And then maybe once more into your belt so it keeps it this thing. And then if it needs it, just once more again. And there you go. And then you just, you know, make sure everything's good. Have a look in here. Feel again around the back. Like, is everything straight? Is it nice? Am I feeling comfortable? You know, if, if I do a ray, does it, does it go up the right amount? And then, yeah, there you have it. You've got everything tied up and you're ready to go.